Hey guys, today I'll be talking about the brand Pyrex Vision or Pyrex that was previously owned by Virgil Abloh and has since now been rebranded as Off-White. So let's get right into it. Before I start with this video, I just want to talk about my personal brand Renee VA. Um, I've just been I've been working on a brand myself um, and it's just been like a hobby kind of thing. But I recently released a hockey capsule with two colorways, two monochrome colorways. Um, the first one coming in a black and white and uh, it just resembles a hockey jersey. This is the black version. So this is the black and it has white stripes at the bottom. As you can see, they are monochrome and I feel that it fits in street style culture and street style trends that we're in currently. So that's why I released them at this time. Um, I also released it in a white and black colorway, which is this one. So it has a white body with black stripes at the bottom. And yeah, so they're available on my website and as I said, they are my own brand, Brand AVA. Um, if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description and we do shit worldwide. So yeah. Let's get into the Pyrex video. Pyrex Vision started in July of 2012, which was two years ago. And um, the whole message behind the brand is to represent the youth culture as well as Virgil's upbringing. All the Pyrex Vision garments were printed on Champion Sportswear, except for the flannels, which were released in season two. Those were printed on Rugby by Ralph Lauren. And the reason why everything was printed on Champion was because when Virgil was growing up, his whole childhood and his whole high school experience, um, the most common gym uniform in America was Champion Sportswear, so it reflected of what he wore as a child in gym. Many of you guys may know, most Pyrex Vision garments spotted the number 23 on the back of the garments, and the reason behind this was because Virgil wanted everyone that wore Pyrex to feel a part of the team and a part of the street culture that it reflected on. In the first season of Pyrex, two t-shirts were released, one with a V-print on the front with Pyrex 23 on the back, and the second one was a Celine model wearing a Celine blouse with Pyrex written over the front of it and it had trap music on the back instead of Pyrex. When these two pieces were released, they retail for $45 and $85, but the influence that these two pieces had weren't as strong as season two of Pyrex Vision, as you guys may already know. These two pieces did sell out as they were released in limited quantity, and at this point in time, I think it's near enough impossible finding any Pyrex Vision first season, because even finding stock images online was hard enough. The first season actually dropped in RSVP Gallery, which is a store owned by Virgil Abloh himself, and he wanted that with friends and associates such as Don C. And the great thing about this business venture was because he owned Pirate Vision as well as RSVP Gallery, it was a great merger for both brands and it was a win-win situation because it brought promotion to both Pirate Vision and RSVP Gallery. Before I continue talking about the Pyrex brand, I just want to talk about the actual name Pyrex and where it originated from. Most of you guys may already know this, but Pyrex is actually a leader in cookware. You might have seen it yourself, Pyrex are a leading cookware company and they provide long and durable equipment in the cookware industry. Um, I actually have a Pyrex bowl here, so this is where the whole brand originated from. You're probably thinking what the hell that has to do with anything or streetwear culture or how that even ties in with streetwear culture. But crack cocaine was very common for a lot of um, rap stars and mainstream rap stars currently in the industry. And um, they used to make crack cocaine from an early age or they used to sell it from an early age and obviously crack cocaine was their first source of income. When you live in specific areas in Chicago and even states like New York and areas like Brooklyn within New York, um, it is very easy to get into the crack cocaine business because when you live in areas that are surrounded by this, it seems like the only getaway and the only source of income that you can create for yourself. Virgil grew up in bad surroundings like this and as I said, crack cocaine was very commonly made in Pyrex cookware bowls. So the actual reference is more of a drug reference more than a cookware reference. People like Pusha T um, have actually admitted to selling and moving and even creating crack cocaine from an early age and luckily Pusha T was able to get out of it. But um, from his early rap days when he was part of the Clips group, he has a lyric where he says Pyrex stirs turn into Cavalli furs and this basically means that he was able to move and sell enough crack cocaine that could create him a lifestyle where he could avoid Roberto Cavalli first. So you can see how everything ties in together and the actual idea behind it is really, it's just genius. Another thing I want to touch on is the retail price of Pirate Vision garments. As I said, the first season retailed at $45 and $85, which was a fair price. Now the second season had a lot of controversy in, um, about the retail prices. A lot of people complained that they were ridiculously overpriced, especially because they were printed on Champion. With the shorts starting at $60, the t-shirts starting at $150, and the pullovers starting at $225, and that wasn't even the most expensive item. The flannels actually ran you $550. I personally think that the prices were fair, uh, maybe not the flannel, but the other pieces were fair because you're not paying for the quality with a brand like this, you're paying for the message and the culture that it represents. The flannels may have been the only overpriced item because the jump from $225 to $550 is a lot, 
and I'm sure there could have been a more compromised price but at the end of the day he priced it at what he wanted and it sold for that price so no one can really complain if it is selling at that price. The Pyrex campaign that released alongside the season 2 collection was just a short video that included a handful of models wearing Pyrex vision from head to toe and um, it was just they sat in an empty room and they're graffitiing on the wall and this is a short video that you guys can watch for yourself and I'll link that in the description. But this was the beginning of the Pyrex era and the takeover that they did in 2013 and the short video actually included models such as ASAP Ills and Ian Connor who is a streetwear model in the culture. The approach to the campaign was very unorthodox but it did work and it did reflect off the audience that Pyrex Vision was aimed at. The idea behind the video was rebranding which once again reflected off the brand itself as Pyrex as I did mention it was the whole idea behind it is to rebrand Champion and will be by Ralph Lauren. Now the whole hype and the whole attention that Pyrex Vision received started in December of 2012 and this all started because of Kanye West. You guys may have seen that in December of 2012 Don C held a um, art show for his brand Just Done which is a line of snapbacks as well as other brands and people like Kanye West and even LeBron James attended this show. Virgil also attended this art show and as I said Kanye West also attended it and what Kanye wore was the V print um, Pyrex 23 first season t-shirt. When the pictures were released online a lot of people started to circle what Kanye West was wearing and obviously it wasn't hard to tell because his t-shirt had massive Pyrex 23 branding on the back. This initially created a lot of hype for the Pyrex brand because this was when season 2 had just released as well. About a week after this art show Kanye West actually performed at the 12-12-12 Sandy Relief concert and at this concert he actually chose to wear a Jumanji kill as well as a season 2 religion print hoodie that said Pyrex 23 on the back. When he did do the performance the Pyrex hoodie was on sale from Pyrex Vision retailers and obviously it created a lot of buzz for the hoodie as well as other garments from the collection. After this 2013 kicked in as well as the Pyrex hype that came along with it. Over the following months of 2013, all you would see in the media was celebrities rocking Pirates Vision. From Big Sean to ASAP Rocky to Jay Z to Tiana Taylor to Kim Kardashian to Khloe Kardashian, basically the whole Kardashian clan. Also, Young Jeezy, Chris Brown, and even Kendrick Lamar. Pirates Vision just basically became the number one brand for all celebrities and stars, and when you have that many celebrities rocking your brand, of course it's gonna sell out. These celebrities wore it over the course of 2013, and it wasn't all in one go, so the hype behind Pirates Vision just it, it was just continuously growing and growing. Because it grew so fast and it attacked the mainstream, it allowed streetwear culture and streetwear fashion to also go mainstream, which is very important. The second season of Pirates Vision released socks, snapbacks, hoodies, t-shirts and flannels which sold out on a regular basis. Another significant thing that happened with Pirates Vision and Virgil was in 2013, of um, January of 2013. This was when Virgil actually held an exhibit for Pirates within the Colette store in Paris and Colette was actually a retailer of Pyrex. This exhibit had a lot of celebrities that attended, once again including Kanye West. So once again, this was another great marketing scheme that Virgil Abloh came up with and it did push the brand within Europe. A few months later, Fashion Week came around and another significant event took place. Mark McNary previewed his collection on the runway and he ended his runway show with a model walking down the runway wearing a flannel and it read Tupperware 13 on the back and this was basically a parody of the Pyrex flannels. This once again created a lot of attention for Pyrex. Retailers such as V-Files and RSVP Gallery constantly restocked the season 2 collection and it would sell out in minutes similar to the likes of a Jordan restock. So it was very hard to get your hand on any Pyrex vision pieces which created an inflation on the resale market for Pyrex garments. For example the shorts retail at $60 as I mentioned but on resale market they were upwards of $200. This made the overpriced argument invalid because the fact that it was selling so much over retail um, it just made the retail prices seem fair. If you wore any pirate garments you would be branded as a hype beast straight away which made sense because a lot of hype beasts they did just wear like a pirate hoodie with the pirate shorts and the pirate socks and in my opinion and a lot of people's opinions that did look stupid and it was very hype beast of them to do that. I actually own the Pirates Vision shorts so Heather Yard in black. I purchased these on V-File which is a boutique in New York but I purchased them online and they retail at $60 which is what I paid for them and I bought purchased them online. I purchased them before the hype so it was easy for me to get them but when the hype did come around these shorts had just become like impossible to purchase and as I said they were so easy to sell on the resale market for upwards of $200. Another significant mark for the Pyrex brand was when ASAP Rocky released his music video for Wild for the Night 
and that was actually a hit from his album Long Live ASAP. Pyrex was so easy to market because the whole idea behind the brand was just the actual name of the brand which was Pyrex. So if you wear that on any of the garments they released it would sell out instantly and that is what people were purchasing it for. So the fact that in the music video all you could see was Pyrex on his shorts it was so easy for that to get out to millions of people. After Pyrex sold out for the last time of retailers, the gap before anything happened again was so long that people didn't know what to expect anymore. But the crazy thing about this was that people were still hyped about it, so the hype never truly died down. Slowly and slowly, the name Off-White started coming out, and um, it started with Virgil rebranding his Twitter as Off-White, and then he started getting his website as Off-White, and he started releasing little previews on Instagram. People didn't know what this actually meant and they thought it was just another collection with Pyrex Vision. After a while something new finally did happen and um, Kanye West was seen wearing a Distress Season 2 Pyrex hoodie and it basically had the print Distress as well as the back print and on the sleeve it writ something including Off-White. A lot of people thought this was a new collection drop in but after a while it was confirmed just a collaboration between Show Studio and um, Pyrex and Virgil. But this only dropped at a certain time and it's literally sold out and it was never released again. Another controversy that started when Off-White started coming about was that people were thinking that Pyrex was being rebranded as Off-White because of the whole legal issue behind Pyrex cookware. Now you could say something similar to this did happen but it wasn't really a rebranding rather a total death of Pyrex Vision and a rebranding of Virgil with Off-White. Now Off-White is a contemporary brand which is aimed at the high fashion audience and it has similar aesthetics to the Pyrex Vision brand but it has a higher quality now and it isn't printed on Champion anymore. Off-White released their first collection and it released a lot of negative backlash from the street art community but um, over time it has now since become more accepted and uh, people understand it more and Virgil Abloh is already working on his second collection with Off-White. Pyrex has now officially died because it has nothing going on with it, it has no future, it's just dead no future and um, Virgin is just working on Off-White which he should be because it is a growing brand in contemporary fashion and it does look like it has a bright future. So yeah that's where I'd like to end today's video on Paris Vision. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to leave a comment on what you guys think about Paris Vision, Off-White and even Virgil. Um, I do read all the comments. Um, also be sure to leave a like and as I said I hope you guys enjoyed it so I'll see you guys later.